Yes lads, I heard you guys are needing some coins. So I've got you a coin website boys. Use code MUZ for up to 5% off. Links are in the description boys. You can literally get 100k coins for $10. Absolute bag of chips. Links in the description. Use MUZ for 5% off. Do it right now. Love that. Right, okay boys, so I have just unlocked the team of the season, didn't you? I've done it really fast. If you guys want to know how to do it as fast as I did, it took me about two hours, an hour and a half-ish. I had no rage quits, so I got quite unlucky. Um, I've done a video on it, so go check out my last video. I'll leave a link in the description anyway. So, and just before I do start, if you could drop 30 likes, that would be sick. Drop a sub if you're new. And yeah boys, let's do a review on uh, Dinya at left back. So the team I'm going with is this. I, I don't actually play with this formation in game. Uh, I usually change to either 4 2 3 1 or I'm kind of like in the 4 3 3 4 with the, uh, with the cam. And uh, you guys are not here for this. You guys are here for a, a review. So here we go, boys. Let's quickly dive into it. So we'll start off with the chem style. So the chem style is a bit of a weird one. I was thinking physical needs. I think the physical is the one place that he needs to up a little bit. But this car is so well rounded. The fact that he can earn this for free is sick. So I've, um, I've put an anchor on him anyway. So I've boosted a little bit of his pace. A little bit of his defending. And a little bit of his uh, physical as well. So it's plus, plus 5 strength. So he'll have 85 strength. He can have 95 jumping as well. For a 5 foot 10 guy. It's pretty decent. For a full bat, Which is very nice. He's going to be like in the 90 odd paces as well. Which is sick. So I think anchor's pretty perfect. He could go with sentinel as well. But in my opinion anchor. Just max his just get his pace up, get his pace even more up. But I love the fact, one thing I love is the fact that his acceleration is higher than his sprint speed. That's one thing I like. He's got 93 crossing, which is sick. 94 short passing. He's going to be nice on the ball. 91 balance, 78 agility. You could maybe boost his dribbling, but I think 78 agility is sick for a left back. 88 ball reactions as well, which is absolutely is key for, for a, a defender. Uh, 91 ball control, 84 dribbling. 82 composure, you do need, composure is probably an underrated stat for defending, but you do need composure as a defender as well, so they don't panic under pressure and stuff. Uh, then defending wise, he's got 90 interception, he's going to have 95 interceptions with anchor on. He's going to have 89 uh, heading accuracy as well with, with the anchor, 89 marking as well, 99 stand tackle and 90... 99 fucking slide tackle. This card is unreal. So looking at his stats, he looks sick as well. He's 5 foot 10, high medium, left footed, 3 star, 3 star. Most fullbacks have high medium anyway. Just stick. Uh, I think my. Let me go to. I, I never play with this formation in game. I usually go to 4 2 3 1 to start off. So I believe I'm on stay back while attacking. I'm going to. Do you know what? For this game, I'm going to put it on balance because I want to see how he is attacking wise. So anyway, boys, there's my quick review on that. We're going to go jump into a game now. And yeah, boys, we'll uh, we'll have a little review of him. Give him some game time. I'll let you know what I think of him. All right, didn't you? So he wears blue boots. He's this tall. Right, he, he already feels pretty fast. Right, let's 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 have a run with him. Can do the drag back, nice. Nice, didn't you? Nice, didn't you? God, he feels so fucking like agile. He feels very agile for a left back. You can feel the pace with him. He's is this guy already quitting? <laughs> He's scared of didn't you, man? I'm telling you, boys, you've got to do this, didn't you? I literally did a few dribbles with Dinier. Look at this. Three out of four dribbles. And he quits. He's scared of Dinier already. So let's go. We'll go into another game. Oh my. I was not expecting that 86% possession. What the fuck? So my first thoughts about him is he feels really agile on the ball. I'm not too sure how he is defensively. I imagine he's pretty sick. But going forward, he feels nice. He feels very nice on the ball. Completely the opposite to what I think of Alonso. Alonso feels really lanky. And I was saying in the last video that I don't, I'm not really a fan of Alonso. So I can see, I can see Dinier in my team. He's Dinier. Back to Dinier. Nice Dinier. Good pass. Good pass, bro. I'm just abusing Dinier. I want to get a shot off with Dinier. Dinier! Di okay. We'll put that in the clip anyway, but yo. Maybe don't shoot with Dinier. Bro, what is actually going on? I'm trying to do a fucking review and everyone's just pausing it and shit. Is Dinya? Bro, what is actually going on? I can't actually believe what's going on. I've not had any rage quit since trying to get the Dinya. I've used Dinya for two, Dinya for two games and he's quit at nil nil. If this is not a sign to get Dinya, I don't know what is. But I'm just getting free the rival points. So I mean, we'll go into another game. We'll, I'm trying to get you guys review footage, but. People are just fucking quitting. I mean, 8,000 points. That's fucking... I actually think people... 
are actually scared of the dinya because they're like, yo, what the fuck? How has this kid got dinya so fast? So they're like, yo, this kid must be insane. I think that's the, I think that's what it is. It's a mind game thing, I'm telling you. Dinya is the... He's like the mind game. You see him and you're like, yo, I need to fucking quit. Yeah, on the ball. Let's see what his switch is like. Go on, switch it, bro. That's a good switch. That'll do to canter. Back to Dinya. How's your touch, bro? He's got a good touch. He's got a good touch. It's nice. Keep going. See what them overlaps are like. Nice, Dinya. Let's see what his crossing's like. Cross. Okay, blocked. Four. That's what I want to try, actually. He's crossing. Well, we scored already anyway, so. Dinya's there. Dinya's there. Love that. I'll play Dinya. So he's fast as well. You can get, you can catch up to play. Dinya. Dinya! What a save. And Kante off the post. Yeah, that's not a bad effort. I might have to actually have a look at his finishing stats, actually. I was just told, oh shit. Oh, it's a good challenge back from Dinya. Good interception, bro. I didn't you. How's oh, your crossing, bro? He's got 93 crossing. Let's test it. Oh, my God. Yo, if you had, like, an Ebra back, stick there. Or a CR7. That's a goal. What? Because it was solid. How's oh, your touch, bro? Oh, bro. Spot on again. Go on, didn't you? You can feel that acceleration with him. He's got that bit of grit on him. Bit of grit. Get it wide. Put one in, didn't you? Put one in. Yo! Bro, them crosses. I'm, I'm telling you, if you've got someone good back stick. It's just annoying that Salah's on the end of it. But, bro, that was a sick cross. Curve on that. Should we try a long ball with him? So, even under pressure, love that, didn't you? Played, bro. Good header, bro. Lovely player. Take a touch and put it in. It's a beautiful ball. Again, man. He just keeps going to salad. That's the problem. Yeah. What's his long balls like? Long ball down the line. Love that to Petit. Not a bad half. Didn't you? Feels good. I, I like him. I think he's going to go in my left back spot over Alonso. Feels really agile. Good at Very good at crossing. I need... That's the problem with Salah. He's not very good at heading. And I know the matter is cross it back, stick and boom, you've got a goal. And I'm telling you, bro, if you've got like an Ebra, a CR7, someone that can win the head, win the head, win the ball at back stick, Dinya is going to pick him out all day. He's literally, like, they are going to snack off his crosses. He's unreal at crossing. Look at that overlap. The acceleration to get through. I'm going to LB it. No one saw that. No one fucking saw that. Yes, didn't you? First, see there, first to the ball. Again, the acceleration got him there. Good positioning as well. Good marking. I think he's got like 97 marking. So, bro, even defensively, that was a really, really good bit of defending that. If I had Alonso there, I'm telling you, he wouldn't have had the speed to get there. See, I've got him on balance and he's still sitting back. I like that. Usually I've stayed back while attacking, but I wanted to see how he goes forward. You need good IQ in your defenders. See, look, he can just spin people, man. Can't do that with Alonso. <laughs> I really like him. Oh, good challenge back, didn't you? Again, man. And again. Oh, my bro, didn't you? Twice in a row. Can he get the long ball off? Of course he can. On his right foot as well. Under pressure. Love that. Bro, didn't you put a foot wrong? He's going to go miss something now, I'm telling you. Didn't you? Love that, bro. It's didn't you? Bro, look how much he whips his crosses. Oh my God. I've never seen a guy whip a cross like this. Other than uh, Andy Robertson in real life. Bro. Only Andy Robertson does crosses like that in real life. Dinya can fucking cross. Holy shit. Dinya. Dinya won it. We should stay here. It's, uh, 
Dinye did win that though. Love that, Dinye. We'll have a look at how many interceptions he's had. I think he's had quite like three or four with him. Oh, bro. See that? I know it's only Jaden Sancho, but the strength. I think he's got like 80 strength or so, 85 strength with an anchor on. Bodied him. Fucking love that. Right, Dinier's on going on this corner. Where you at, Dinier, bro? Right, Ebra's just come on the pitch, so let's mark the Ebra. We'll mark Ebra, right. Whack it from post. Dinier whip front in. Okay. Oh, it's fucking wank. Why does every player with good crossing whip fucking wank corners in? Dinier's gonna hit one. Dinier! He connected with that. I don't know what his shot power is, but he got a bit of power behind that. Let's really watch that. Didn't you? On his left foot. I'll tell you something, that's fucking flying top bins. Right, let's put Dinya on this. Dinya, where you at, bro? Right, just, just put it right. Just smack it in there, bro. Straight to Ebra's head. What did I say? I brought Ebron with four minutes to go. I said, if, if, if you've got a player that can head a ball... They'll snack off Dinier's crosses. Ebra's just snacked off it. He's, he's literally not even played fucking two minutes. Dinier, again, can you find fucking... Oh, shit. Sancho, fuck off. Right, there we go then, boys. Game is over. Let's go and have a look at the stats of what Dinier did do. He felt really good. I'm 100% going to be playing him over Europa League Alonso. A lot of people do like the Europa League Alonso, but my style of play, I love to keep the ball and dribble, dribble with my fullbacks. So, Dingye is going to be... I love him. 9.4 rating there. I did abuse him quite a bit, but I really wanted to get a full understanding of how he plays. So, he didn't get a goal. He did get an assist off a corner, though. I do think he'd get a lot more assists if he had players that could win a header. As soon as I brought Ebron, boom, he got an assist. But you, you don't really care about assists with fullbacks. Um, in terms of passes, he had 31 out of 38, but I did fucking abuse him. He had a lot more passes than a lot of players. Like, look, Kyle Walker had 7 passes, so 31 out of 38... Dribbles, he had 32 out of 38. Again, a lot more dribbles than everyone else. But 4 out of 4, tackles won. But I'm telling you, intercepting, he felt good. And his strength, he looks like a small, narrow guy. He hits the gym. He's got, like, some inner strength in him. Like, trust me, he's, I think he's got 85 strength with an anchor on. Um, and, bro, he, you could feel that. He absolutely bodied one of his... I think it was Sancho. He bodied Sancho off the ball. So, there we go. I'm really happy with Dinier. I'm definitely going to be playing him. Right, so there we go, boys. There's, there is the review of Dinier. I'm really happy with him. He's 100% going to be my new left back. Alonso, just really not a fan of him, really. I've got the Europa League. I've, and I've, it's not as if I've not used Alonso much. I've, I've used Alonso for, like, yeah, 226 games. Just can't get him working. I, I, just, I don't know. I like an agile left back. So, my thoughts on him. He feels fast. Very agile. Good on the ball. Couldn't win the ball back. Got good interceptions. And his strength. You can feel his strength. He bodied someone. And yeah, 63 finish. He's got really good shot, for, shot power. Yeah, I felt that in in his in one of his shots. You would have seen the clip. Um, but yeah, it feels really good. I'd, I'd recommend an anchor, a sentinel. Just something that can boost his strength up a little bit. But it's such a sick card, man. Please do let me know your thoughts on Dinye once you've done it. If you do want to see how to get him fast, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description. Please do drop a like. We'll go 30 likes. Drop a sub if you're new. And yeah, boys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.